Hello, today we're going to be learning how to create a disc label using a Canon TS 9120, an Apple kind of using Mac OS 1013, and the My Image Garden software. So let's begin by opening up My Image Garden. Here we can choose disc label from the guide menu, and we'll choose a simple layout of just a picture on a disc. After that, we want to choose the paper size. Uh, today we have a, a label that goes all the way to the spindle hole, so we'll choose small inner circle and press OK. Here we'll get our layout, which is empty, and we want to go ahead and add an image. So we can choose any of the images that may be in our hard drive. Uh, just navigate to the image and click OK, and it will open up, and it will appear up here at the top. And you can drag that into the layout and reposition as you see fit. And that's pretty much it for this type of layout. So just drag and drop the image in there and you'll be ready to print. Um, now you may want to rename the uh, project for later use. That way you can know what it is. And then one thing you do want to check is go to the My Image Garden Right next to the okay, Apple so icon, uh, click on that and then choose Preferences. We want to make sure that Print Scan Using AirPrint is selected. Now, this is an important point, um, especially if you have an older Canon printer that you've replaced with the TS9120. Because those printers do not use AirPrint, they use a driver that was published by Canon to perform the prints. Um, this one, however, does not have a Canon published driver. It uses the Apple AirPrint software to perform printing. And uh, so we want to make sure that's checked. Otherwise, we won't be able to print a disc using the TS9120. So go ahead and hit print after that. Now, you may be given the full bevy of options. Um, sometimes it just shows you this littler window that you have to show details in order to get all the options. Now, I've done this previously, so the correct paper size is already chosen. Likely you'll have U.S. letter as the option here, and you would have to change it from U.S. letter to the 120 by 120 milliliter, which is the size of the disc. Um, you have some other options here, whether you want correction or not. This image is a professionally produced image, so we're going to leave the correction off. Um, other options you have, you can choose that you want it to feed from the disc tray and that you do have a disc. Now, normally these options are going to automatically select, but it's always a good idea to give the uh, software a little extra information to avoid any problems. Uh, some other options here on the My Image Garden is the print position. So if you print the first disc and you notice that it's a little bit off, you can you know, adjust the position of the print in order to get it just right. Let's go ahead and hit print, and at this point we're done. Thanks for watching.